Well, all week we've been mm -hmm. reminding folks this Sunday at 2 a.m. marks the end of daylight saving time. Yeah, and, and as we reset ourselves back to standard time, not only does that mean it's going to be darker an hour sooner, but if you want to stay on time, you got to remember to change all your clocks before you go to bed on Saturday night. That can be a pain to remember, <laughs> but can you imagine if you had 100 clocks to change? How about... 200 clocks, wow. 300 clocks, no each and every one of them needed to be set back one hour. That's quite the job. And this week's Flashback Friday, we're going to look back on a story from 1989 when Toledo 11's Evan Rosen introduced us to the clock man. If time should wait for anybody, it should wait for Paul Moncasey, who has devoted 45 years to time. But since time treats everybody equally, Moncasey must set back this clock and this one. This one, too. In fact, Paul Moncasey must turn back some 300 clocks. That's time for you. To me, I'm a slave to it. Uh, I have to be. That's because time is what keeps Moncasey ticking. He loves the music the hundreds of clocks make in his shop. Moncasey says while turning clocks twice a year may be a bother for most people, he actually looks forward to the time-honored tradition. This way, you were reprieved. You're having one hour more. Oh, boy, you know. But it's a bigger job getting them back than it is forward. It's a bigger job turning this cuckoo clock back, for example, because moving the hands backward could break a lot of little parts. So what you have to do is move the hands forward 11 hours, letting each effect happen as it does. Clocks have fascinated Moncasey since he was 15, and the repairman often gets attached to the hands of time that show up in his shop. His favorite at the moment is this clock merchant cuckoo clock, but he remembers one clock in particular. This had little bells, and it was like a little ting to each time it chimed. And I missed it, darn it, and I've been looking for a clock like that. So you see, Moncasey can spend two hours setting back clocks and love every minute, because Paul Moncasey approaches his work as if he alone keeps the world on time. Evan Rosen, Toledo 11 News. It's an important job to keep us all on time. Isn't yeah, and who would have thought that it's so much work, especially when we <laughs> fall back an hour to have to go forward, you know, the full cycle. Yeah, you wouldn't expect that. But, you know, my parents have a lot of clocks in their house, and they yep. all sing and do that whole thing. And they're, for the most part, they're, well, I will say they're off by like a, a few seconds because if they all start chiming at the same exact time, it's like, yeah. whoa. So it's pretty noisy at the top <laughs> of the hour when you hear all exactly. those clocks not quite fully synchronized. Yeah. We have it so easy nowadays where your phone or your smartphone just, just automatically resets. Digital yeah. clocks make it so much easier now they just do. hit a button Press and a knock button. it down or knock it up. Yeah. Or, or if they're smart, they can do it themselves yeah. like you're... Your watches. Yeah, yeah. Watches. so I know daylight saving time, standard time, kind of a controversial subject. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The evenings get really dark this time of year, especially after we fall back an hour. Uh, but those summer sunsets happening after 9 p.m. So if we, were, if we were on standard time all year, we wouldn't quite get those later evenings. But also the sun rises would be incredibly early in the summer before 5 o'clock a.m. So there's give and take either way. Either I think way. we just keep it as it is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Don't fall back. Because we like, we, oh, we like we, when it, the weather's nice, we like the nice yeah. nights. Sure. Sunsets. Yeah. yeah. All right. Give and take.